strap on your tool belt and grab a cup of coffee. It's time for My Fix It Up Life with Mark and Teresa. Where do we find you tonight on our Blab, Alice and Victoria, where we're talking about universal design and aging in place and designing for our elder years? Where are you today? Wait, say that again, the end part? Where are you? What part of the world are you in? I am in Chicago. I just landed. I was in Las Vegas and I just got back back home to Chicago. Outstanding. Oh, that's really yeah. good. And you know what I see here in my windows? I see someone named Fanuka it's calling here. in. He's here. Yeah. He's here. We'll right. get him. You know, I don't know. He's, you know, a little little bit of the jibber jabber with him. That's all right. We'll take turns. We've got people who are here, who are listening, who are watching us, who are tweeting with us. And um, Teresa would like to say that she's sorry she can't be with us because she's out taking a course right now. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah. Continued education. That's good. Can you see us, Stephen? I think I'm Hi. here. Holy smoke. Can you guys Why are you in me? such a dark room? <laughs> I'm in my backyard. Awesome. It's so nice. Inside. It's beautiful here in Chicago. Where are you? You're in New York? I'm in New York. I'm wearing nothing but a wow. tool belt. Oh, we couldn't tell if you were. Wow. As it as oh, it yeah. turns out, I have to go. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Already gone. I'm gonna see if I can get some better light. You no, know, it actually no, it looks kind of good. It looks good. really cool. It's very like appropriate for Halloween and stuff. I love it. I'm gonna turn on one more light. Yeah. Hold on. Go for it. Light it up. Because as we talk about age in place, and I will make a ham-handed segue, and hopefully Fanuka can hear me, is uh, lighting is all part of it. It's all part of all these things that we are going to talk about tonight and hopefully share some stories and get some input from, oh, oh, why, Stephen, you are glowing. Oh, so he looks glowy. looks much better. You, look you know what's ironic? I'm a contractor and I can't find a light bulb. <laughs> I don't have a light bulb. I'm, I'm not yeah. a light bulb. Put that Yes. Yeah. Do I look like a head without a body right now? Yeah, I look. I feel exactly. like I'm like that. Oh, you look really, really cool. Keep going. Keep doing it. <laughs> I'm trying to find a cooler spot in my house, and I just couldn't find anything like to make. I like your house. Yeah. I'm, I was noticing. I was the first thing I looked at was the casing and the down lights. That's all I. I love I'm right behind. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Is this is Chicago. Yeah. So this window behind me is what looks out to Wicker Park which is a very yeah. interesting nice. window into the reality of Chicago. I see a lot of fun stuff over here. What's Wicker Park all about? I, I bet every now and then you're like, huh? What's Wicker Park all about, Allison? What's Wicker Park is extremely eclectic. That's the word I'll use. Um, you know, by day you have children playing in the park and then you have me going to the park with WD-40 and putting it all over the swings because it drives me insane. <laughs> <laughs> and at night, Speak. <laughs> at night, you have straight up murder and uh, just a lot of gross stuff going on. Oh, good times, good times. Yeah, yeah. Great time to visit Chicago. I see a question there, Mark. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a question out. Is it difficult to make a home handicapped? accessible in the bigger cities and are there part the permits are not are permits harder to get who wants to answer that question so what okay. what city are we talking about can we ask them questions that are writing any they're asking any city does it take longer to get permits um and is it uh and this one comes from picola hello picola she's a huge matt minster fan by the way i know who she is she's a great person follow each other on Twitter. Not here yet. No, nope, but she's waiting, right? Right, Pacola? Say it. I'm waiting for Matt. Oh, I know right? the Cubbies just won, everybody. Chicago Cubs just won it again. Wow. Congrats. I got the tonight. Oh, my God. 
I was going to a Met game tonight, Mark, and then I realized I had plans, and here oh, I am. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> right there. You, buddy. Right there. All right, so this, regarding permits, um, you don't need per- – well, look, you have to check with every town, but it's not harder to get permits for going handicapped accessible. Um, but sometimes permits are required. If you're going to work in a condo or in a building, you're definitely going to need a permit. Um, as a matter of fact, these days when you're acquiring permits, um, the city wants you to – if you're gutting an apartment – and you're trying to get a DOB permit, they are going to make you go handicap accessible in one bathroom minimum. It has to be. That's the rule. You've got the apartment. You have to go handicap accessible in at least one bathroom. So it is a rule. It's been around since the 80s, since David Dinkins was around. Um, So you do have to get permits. That's for sure. And what I would add to that is it's like you said, Steve, Getting permits, say, in a small town is going to be probably easier because you're going to have more one-on-one access with building officials. You're going to be able to go into the office. The person is going to be there. You can make an appointment, those sorts of things. The larger the city, my experience has been, the harder it is in terms of planning and logistics to get in front of the person you need to get in front of. And all that says to me and what my experience has been is that you need to build out your lead times and get in there with all the stuff that you need, which you should do with any building permit. But in the, in the case of hard to get appointments that I really emphasize that. Yeah. I'll go one step further. If you don't get that permit and something goes wrong, the first thing that your homeowners say, God forbid you have a fire. And you go back to your insurance company and tell them, look, you know, we were renovating. We had a fire. First thing they're going to do is they're going to ask you, not even if you're okay, they're going to ask you, um, was everyone licensed? Um, And you have a clause in your policy that states that if uh, you use someone who's not licensed, um, it's null and void your policy. That's pretty much standard throughout the country. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So as we get into some of these questions, and Piccola, that was awesome. Thank you for chiming in like that. Um, Big picture. And Allison, I'll jump to you. Age in place. Age in place. And Matt's here. I'm going to back up for a second. He's coming. I get the official control panel over here. Let's see if we can get him in here. There he is. I'm trying. Hey, in the car. I think he's in the car. Matt, are you I am in an automobile? Matt, you're in an automobile. <laughs> are you driving? We're not going to ask you just you're here. I am not driving. I just dipped out of my son's basketball team meeting. I am here, though. <laughs> Hi, buddy. How are you doing, Allison? <laughs> hey, Stephen, how are you? Not bad, my man. Hey, congratulations on Decolab and everything going on with you. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. That's that's, that's good stuff. I I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here with you guys. Soon. You know what? We've known each other for so long, and I think you're the only person. You and Grundy are the only ones I haven't met yet. We'll we'll remedy that. We'll remedy that. We will soon. Yes, there we go. A little better light. Sorry, it's horrendous no, lighting. This, I'm doing the no, best. No, typical of your work, man. Don't got, worry about I'm it. Worried. Look, I've got the <laughs> yeah, the bottom half here is real dark. <laughs> okay, that's all right, right? I'll keep. I'll keep. I'll find an angle. Well, there you are. Fanuka's yes. Fanuka's working like you know, like this routine. He's just a. That's in Collins' video. Yeah. I can hear it calling in. <laughs> no, this is awesome. Is that a- this is what Teresa and I, and Teresa found Blab, by the way. This is all Teresa. I'm just sitting here talking. She's literally at a certified aging in place class right now out of town. Wow. So she couldn't be here because hotel internet. Do I need to continue that or... Uh. Uh-oh. Yeah, for freezing it. So hotel internet or parking lot internet? I 
<laughs> he's just using his service provider. Yeah. Hey, Matt, if you can hear us, yeah, X out. I'm going to X him out, and hopefully he comes back. Open seat. He X'd himself out. All right, Fanuka, you got to love you from Sin Lee. Was here. We got to get you up here. This reminds me of conference calls where everyone talks. It does. It's like, it's like, have you guys periscoped yet? Yes. No. Periscoping is weird. It's talking to yourself and pretending you're having a great time if there's no one there. What? And there's nothing worse when there's only like one person watching. Periscope. <laughs> I don't know if I would want to do that. Oh, no, trust me. You'll get used to it. It's like you just talk to yourself and say, hello, how are you? How are you? How are you doing? Yeah. Nice to see you. All right. Do you all have – we all work for HTT. Uh, we all uh, – we're all part of scripts in some way. Um, I'm with DIY Network. Allison is with both HG and DIY Network. And Teresa and I are my Fix It Up Life. And you guys from HG and DIY and everywhere else are kind enough to spend your time talking with us and talking with you, Darius, and uh, everybody else who's out there. So we love that. Yep. How many people do we have here? Mark, do you know? 77 I can't are it watching. 70. <laughs> the babbly, the blabby bunch is who we are. Got it. I'm, I see it now up on top. I see it up on top yeah. now. All right. All right. Let's throw me another question. So, yeah, let's hear some let's... questions from out there. But, Allison, the question that I was asking you, and Fanuk, I want to hear you too on this, is as we talk about aging in place, we can talk about building codes and grab bars and and this and that, and we will, and we should. But personally, what does it mean to you? What's been your your interaction with it? Have you done it on the shows? Is it behind the scenes in your life? You say, what is what is your connection to this design thing and the issue that we're all going to face with our parents or our children or whomever will face with us? My children will just change the locks. So that's settled for me. <laughs> I, I mean, listen, I take care of, I just got back from Las Vegas and I take care of my grandmother. So anything from, you know, replacing her appliances, making sure I'm there just to help her you know, just do little fix it things around the house. I mean, for me, it's a huge concern. Um, it's something I deal with every day just because I'm kind of her, I mean, she doesn't need a caretaker. The woman's right around Las Vegas and having a good old time, but you know, I, I always have to think that way. I don't have any children. So it's not like anything. She can handle herself. She can definitely handle herself. She's a spitfire, but, um, but it's something I think about all the time. I, mean, I, I go back and forth between Chicago and Vegas. And my number one reason to go back to Vegas is. My, my yaya, my grandma, and taking care of the house and trying to figure out really what the next step is and, and where she's going to go and how to design for it and uh, or just to, to alter what she currently has to make sure that that's something, you know, that it's top of my list right now. So Yeah, and I had two people who uh, I both my grandparents passed away from Alzheimer's. Mm. So I spent a good portion of my life um, you know, making sure they were safe. And I would tell people, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You just have to use some common sense. Um, for example, if they can't walk well, you want to, you know, you want to get rid of thresholds. You want to throw away the throw rugs. You want to get rid of all that stuff. You want to put anti slip in the bathroom. You want to put grab bars wherever you can. You want to, um, you know, now today they have monitoring systems. They didn't have that when my parent, my grandparents were sick. Uh, but today there's monitoring services that for 65 bucks, 70 bucks a month, um, they're monitoring. Them. And uh, there's a lot of things you can do. I mean, um, even right when it comes down to getting phones with bigger numbers. But more importantly, you have to use that common sense and, and that caution. Uh it's not about spending big bucks. It's about making sure the number one thing I would say, levers on doors. Mm -hmm. uh, we get arthritic, hard to grab those handles. And so put levers on your doors, get rid of throw rugs, make sure they're not going to trip on something. 
there's any, you know, anything that's going to cause them to trip, you want to correct that right away. You want to put things lower cabinets that's easier for them to get. That they don't exert a lot of energy. Um, it's, it's almost like going, you know, it's like going full circle when you have, when you have kids, it's almost like you're watching over kids. Um, and you're doing the same mm-hmm. thing with uh, the elderly. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you're switching, you're switching roles. And uh, again, I don't, I don't, comes full have, circle. Um, I don't have kids, but I definitely feel like I have one with my grandmother. And so all of the <laughs> that, Stephen, that you just said are extremely important. Quick fixes. They don't break the bank. Um, one right. thing that costs a little more for me to do at her place was to get rid of the full shower and to do a tub shower. And actually it has like an access door so she can open the tub up and get in that way. Um way easier because that's what terrifies me and then i invested in you know the nest systems you can control mm-hmm. your so i have yeah. those in you know my house here and my house in vegas but i also now connected cameras from um from her house so i put two cameras in the house because the last thing i want to do is be here in chicago or traveling and i'm calling her and she's not there and you know i don't want to have to rely on somebody and if so if she has fallen or if something's happened i can always kind of double check and, and, you know, everything that you said, I mean, the thresholds were extremely important. So I got rid of everything in the house. She had all um, laminate that I put in about seven years ago. And so now I put in broad loom carpet. So it's wall to wall carpet, which is really gross. And, and I didn't do in a kitchen. So I do have a little, <laughs> little bit like all of those things are so important, especially when you're trying to look after a loved one and you can't be there all the time. Yeah. Yeah, Allison, we yeah. are we are going to do a different it's show cool. on carpeting the kitchen. So if you yeah. could just <laughs> stay <laughs> tuned, real comeback. Yeah. We'll, we'll throw in the bathroom as long as you're at it. I, yeah. I, uh... yeah, you know, you also, you also have to think about a uh, smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors. You want to keep a fire extinguisher handy in the kitchen and show them how to use it that they're not worried. God forbid something would happen. You want to clean out your fireplaces for them. Um, it's all about safety. Um, and like, it's just going back to the basics. It's just making sure, um, you know, you got to have someone to clean the snow for them. If you can't get there, you hire someone to do it. Um, things like that. I mean, it was a nightmare when I had to deal with my, my grandparents. Um, and I don't wish it upon anyone, but if you use some common sense, and you, you know, it's going to be a lot easier for them. You, you want to clear space in the house for them. You don't want to clutter the place for them. Um, uh, lights to clap. You know, you laugh, <laughs> clap on, clap off. I have that. It works. I it works. Have one. <laughs> you have a clapper, Al? I, I have it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Okay. Allison, that is freaky. <laughs> and I love it. That's how I operate so, my I, iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we grunting. do, and, and exactly. But yeah. what we do with the bathroom thing, and I think this whole aging in place thing goes. It's a lot of forethought. I think you don't have to be you don't have to be at that point in your life where you think you need to be dealing with this stuff to think about it. Even renovating bathrooms, I could renovate a bathroom for a young couple, maybe a couple in their late thirties, early forties, my age, and I'm thinking about why not address it now. While we're in there, let's get rid of the curbs into the showers. Let's make a 34-inch doorway. Let's do all these things that we need to do so that when you're spending the amount of money that some of these renovations, it adds up. And why deal with it later in life when you're maybe not more able to? Why, you know, if we can have a little bit more foresight and make a pretty looking and accessible bathroom or any space in your home, that's kind of, that should be the jam. Getting ahead of the game rather than playing catch up later. That's huge advice. Yeah, that's a good point because that's a good point because Matt's got, he hit it right on the nail. Unfortunately, the elderly people aren't renovating to make their home elderly friendly. They're either going to renovate their home before they become elderly or they're going to renovate, do something because they need it. So it is smart to to put the blockings in the wall later on when you know you're going to want that grab or even though you don't think it or even for a shower seat that's going to fold down 
uh, in your shower. Um, it's it, look, we prepare ourselves for retirement. Mm -hmm. You also have to prepare yourself for becoming older and maybe requiring that assistance. So I tell all the younger people, you got to think about then now because mm -hmm. then it's too late. That's then you're God, trying to make, like make it work. Is, it, you're right on point. I was just watching, I don't even think I was like watching like Bloomberg or something. It was talking about like millennials and what you mm -hmm. know, cause us to go into debt in the future. And people would take wild guesses on why we would go in debt. Maybe we're not, you know, saving as much or we're not putting, you know, we're, we're now so many entrepreneurs and we're putting, you know, our money back into our business instead of investing right. And really the answer was, El, the, our elders and the fact that mm -hmm. we're going to spend so much money and I'm seeing this now. I mean, I'm 35 years old in a, in a month and I have been spending yeah. so much money fixing my Yaya's place rather than mm -hmm. having it done before when she bought the townhome. You know, I mean, think about it. everything that you guys just said, plan ahead. You know, don't think about this. Like the next time I choose to do any kind of renovation for another property, I'm going to think mm -hmm. because of what I'm spending now to fix something that could have been done right the first time. And I think designing for that gets a bad rap. It gets a uh, ugly utilitarian, you know, hospital type yeah. rap. And I think if you're a good designer or if you're working with a good designer, if you just have a little bit of forethought. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. And I think that there's there's million dollar innovations on the cusp with these millennials getting older and the boomers and all of these people that don't want to live ugly, <laughs> but they need to live comfortably and they need to live safely. Yeah. And and the, there's innovation and, and within design innovation that can make accessible spaces also beautiful. And there's no reason not to. And, and and I would argue across the board. It's like it's like when we e doing something eco friendly. If you're not doing something eco friendly in a project, you're not trying hard enough. I think if you're not thinking about where you're going to be in 20 years while doing a project, you're missing the boat a little bit. Yeah, and that's what you're 100% right. That's what right. Van said here in our in our Twitter feed. The basic reason people don't think ahead, a lot of dots there, is because time is faster than they thought. So in other words, time goes by way faster than you think. You turn around and like, wait a minute, I'm retiring from my job. I have arthritis, whatever. Or, you know, Stephen, like you said, there's dementia in your family. Or what Teresa's is dealing with with her dad who has Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. And there are no resources for, for dementia, which is different from aging in place. And Teresa spent a lot of time working and developing some new things that we're going to talk about at uh, DCW Design Construction Week, where I hope all you guys are. And uh, um, the difference between Matt, sort of the things we're touching on, and Allison, you touched on them too. No thresholds, the lever door handles, Fanuka, and why not do it now cor uh, correctly for age in place? Those things are all different when the, the thing you're dealing with in your age is dementia and not for arthritis. And, and to for sure. use an example she uses often, a person with dementia will walk up to um, a doormat at the front door and they can't tell if it's this high and trip. or if it's a hole in the floor. They have no idea. So you got to move that stuff. Color, mm -hmm. light, as we as we've established earlier, Matt, you're your lighting expert. Um, and uh, so it's it's the mind game and calming design down, in addition to all of this mm -hmm. other age in place curbless showers. By the way, I could talk about that for two hours. How to drain those things, it, it's awesome in a bathroom. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah we do it constantly I, I i think if we can do it we should um it's a little bit more difficult but god with schluter and weedy and all these companies out there right now 
man, even just doing ramp drains where you've got large format tiles on the floor and you're not, you're not, you know, creating a weeble wobble situation, even for a bench in the shower, things along those lines. It's, it's, and the thing about it, I love it, it. solves a problem, but you. it's also sleek. It's also <laughs> hip. It's <laughs> also stylish. It's Schluter can style. really, Schluter's perfect because you don't need a curb. And that's what's great about it. Right. And it's, 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 and, and you know what? You don't think about it now, but it's pretty hard to clean an adult when they need to be clean. Um, and there is, there may come a time where that happens. When you think about it, being elderly is being handicapped. It's becoming handicapped. You, you know, you don't have everything that you need, whether it's your senses or your mobility um, or your functions. And so it's another, it's just another form of handicap that you have to resolve and take care of. And, and, you know, we take care for the people right. who are blind and deaf because that's what their present condition is. But the elderly, just it just happens. The sickness just happens. Um, and it's not planned on. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and everything, all of it's unfortunate. But at the end of the day, it's, it's one of those things that would be too long to address when it comes to uh, someone becoming older. Mm -hmm. um, what about the funding? Funding. You can go to your local town, and there is available fund funding for other people actually out there. Am I the only person who's? I, I can't see anybody else on the screen. Can, Did I lose yeah, everyone? We can hear you. Back we, I can see you. No, I. Yeah, I can I see, see you, Fanuka. Yeah, yep. I love the fact that everyone. Calls. I mean, we do. Yeah, hi. Um, I'm actually doing. I've been doing a lot of work with. Uh, and you know this mark uh rebuilding together and that's yes. another organization that that's been really a, a great partnership i'm actually i'm seeing an event here in minneapolis next week for that and it's not you know it's not habitat where you're building something for someone it's coming into a neighborhood and finding a population that is aging and needs things certain things little things done to their home to keep them in it and to keep them living there and in their community and their group of friends and their support network, all of those things. And they're little things that can happen. And now they can stay in their homes, live with dignity. And, you know, there are organizations like Rebuilding Together out there that do provide funding for. And here's an interesting thing. fact. Ninety percent of elderly people, if you ask them, do you want to go to live at a spouse's home or do you want to go live? Uh, in, a, in a home where there's other people around, 90% of them will tell you they want to die in their house. That, that in is their all house. over the place, Absolutely. and it's so true. And I've got, I've, I've got so a question for you guys, <laughs> um, and, I'll, and I'll throw out your Twitter handles, at AllisonVictoria3, at Matt Minster, can't spell it, at Stephen Finuca, also impossible to spell um, so just guess whatever <laughs> their stuff is. So back to Teresa's dad. He's in a memory care facility. He's 80-something years old, and he needs help. And Fanuka, like you said before, cleaning an adult is a big deal. And that memory care facility costs like $10,000 a month. It's just crap loads of money. Yep. And, and that was the life situation they were in. Mm -hmm. And you know, the ship had sort of sailed already and they were an assisted living facility and then to the next thing. But what sometimes people don't think about, and Teresa thinks about this a lot, and I think about it too, is for that same money. And she, like I said, she's at the NAHB CAPS uh, class right now. For that same money, you could practically, not practically, you could build a very nice building in your backyard tiny house yes. and I don't want to go crazy with hashtags but a very small truly in-law apartment in millions and millions of places around the country and if your family situation mm -hmm. is you know like that you can then take care of that person maybe in your home maybe in their home but they're not going somewhere else um, you got to take care listen I always tell people, whether it's a family member or your next door neighbor, you always got to pay it forward. And you know, everyone knows here that I'm a big fan of you know, karma and what comes back to haunt you. I mean, even my neighbors who are elderly, um, there's a storm. I go out there and I knock on their door and I make sure they're okay. Um, it's about 
checking on people. It's about helping other people. Like like Matt, I have a lot of respect for Matt. Because Matt does the rebuilding together. I see him all the time on his feet doing it, and I'm always asking myself, should I do this? I'd love to do this. Um, I end up going the other way. I end up, you know, helping out with like George to the rescue and stuff like that. Honestly, giving people mm-hmm. free kitchens and free bathrooms whenever I can. I can only do so many a year because it comes out of my pocket. But the bottom line, we don't right. spend that. We, as a community, um, don't focus enough. Um, you're making me think even now that I'm doing jobs. I'm going to start pushing more and more to the young people about preparing themselves because I don't think I even do that enough. See, you've inspired. Okay. I don't think I do. All right. I don't. <laughs> I think it is. I think I think it's I think it's it's going to be a like generational Matt thing. working with rebuilding together. You know, Fanuka, what happened with your grandparents, what I'm going through now with my yaya. I mean, and then also just yeah. the thought of you know, I'm where my money is going to go down the road is actually into helping my grandmother. So whether that's putting her into assisted living, which is not something I want to do, and like you said, she wants to die in her home. She doesn't mm-hmm. want to be anywhere else so to be able to think and 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 be smart about the way we're designing or redesigning i mean i see a lot of people in her community even putting tons and tons of money into this renovation to make it look good versus you know thinking form and function you know hey how am i going to i mean it's a it's a you know uh 55 plus community and they're all just trying to kind of keep up with the joneses and make everything look better versus you know how are we going to make this not only sustainable, but something where it's just the longevity is there. We can actually enjoy our homes for the rest of our lives. And I do a lot of work with Habitat. I would love to get more involved with rebuilding together, but you know, Habitat's starting to think that way too. I don't think enough, but I think it's kind of it's on their mm-hmm. radar, and I think it's something that's you know the little things that I'm doing to fix are things that I should have done. You know. I'm hearing some really funky noises. Yeah, I think someone's that. Yeah, are you in that parking lot? I don't know what that was. That, that might be me. You know what? You can blame all the whatever is going wrong. Is someone on flushing a giant right toilet now. over there. Um, you, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I think a sprinkler system just started up over here. But you know what, Al? To, to piggyback on what you said, and I don't know the best way to actually phrase this, but for better or worse, in what we do for a living, Allison, Stephen, and to me, you know, we have a bit of a responsibility um, in that we get to design that we design things that people see, and and we have a platform really to try to break maybe that mindset of just the keeping up with the, the Joneses when you do a renovation, and and maybe being. Um, really careful with some of the things that you know i do on my show i see you guys doing where we're 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 stressing some of these more functional aspects of living in your home and living not just now living later and i think it can be a real it's this is going to change people are living a lot longer and and there's like there's you know our our solvency might not be ideal when we get to that a certain age you know, we're earning money during our career, but later on in life, we're 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 living off of less, and that's when, if these changes need to be made, Too then, late. I don't know where that money it comes from. Our kids, yeah. like it's going to come from us for our parents and things along those lines. And God, if we can get ahead of it somehow, somehow, just changing a mindset, if we can get ahead of it, man, the good that comes from that. It's true. Someone had asked a question about uh, should we be worried about the the resale of the property if they go ahead and modify homes? My answer is if they can afford to buy your home, they're going to want to do whatever they want to it anyway. And don't put something else's – don't put uh, put your family yeah, first. Yeah, we get that question all the time. You know, it's like whether we're crashing yeah. or whatever we're doing, it's, you yeah. know, hey, how can you make my, my house, you know um, – you know, better for resale. Well, why don't you think about you first, how you live it? It's always about the time you can get the hardware store. I'm, I'm so glad all, like, I'm not it's alone. All about, you know, hey, I'm about to sell my home. I'm like, you're the wrong person. You know, a kitchen is one of the most expensive rooms in the house. Mm-hmm. So when you're designing it, you're thinking of all of the hardscape. Yes. 
and how you're going to be able to grow old in that kitchen. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be just dysfunctional. So this whole resale thing, mm -hmm. think about how you're using your space. This is your home. If it's about resale, then we're, we're not on the right subject. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. I talk about it every home show talk I have. I get on my soapbox about this. And I'm just like, you know what? If there's a realtor in the room, I'll fight with you. I'll say, get up, stop making. I think people get paralyzed by fear out of what the next person that's going to live in their house is going to think no. about what they did. And I can't, I can't say enough, stress enough. Just stop it. I mean, you're making the mortgage payments on this sucker. It's yours and make it work for you. Analyze your routine. What's your routine? What's your ideal routine designed to make that even better. And God, I think if you do it well, no one that's ever going to walk into your house later is ever going to question why. No, you they won't. And trust me, they're not going to keep the wallpaper you left on the wall. They're taking it down. <laughs> yep, all the colors you know? gone. No, that's true. And it's some people think that mm -hmm. paint or they, they approach paint like, oh, I can't change this. It's painted. Well, you know, you could actually just paint it again. Yeah, slow down. But, you know, that's another thing. You just mentioned something about paint. You know, you got to think about, we're thinking about all the physical ailments, but we haven't taken into consideration the, the mental anguish that they go through when my dad's now 79. And, you know, my dad wasn't feeling well and he didn't want to go to Europe. I offered to take him to Europe with me. And he said, you know, maybe next year. And I said, why? He goes, I'm just afraid. And I'm depressed about that I'm getting older. Um, you got to make the rooms feel brighter and better to make them feel happier. So I stay away from dark colors and greens. I put more lights, more lighter colors, happier tones on the walls. I try to get people to feel happy even when they're not happy. Um, it's silly, but it works. Um, it's about trying to keep them just, you know, you know, you don't want the room to feel like a cloudy day. So you got to be also careful with colors. I'm going to hit you with some statistics right now. Yep. 5.2 million people in America have Alzheimer's disease. 500,000, a half a million will be diagnosed this year alone. 3.9 million live at home. And 40%, 40% of the caregivers have a household income of less than $50,000. So paint job that makes you feel happy I, I mean that is are you kidding me that's that's great lights that work make sense you know it doesn't have sure. to be and matt not that it's not important but it doesn't have to be full pull the plaster down move all the pipes bathroom remodel and even in the bathroom no, you can do simple things to make them accessible sure Sure, you can do, I mean, an accessible vanity, uh, getting lighting right, all that little stuff is huge. Getting things where you can reach them, um, tripping hazards, tile that's slippery, you know, yeah. there's that whole, you know, coefficient of friction stuff, all that stuff, that stuff a really careful designer would look at. But I think you're right. The statistics are harsh. They're real harsh. I mean, $50,000 household income isn't going to go a long way. Living with dementia, living with just aging is, is, it's, it's not cheap. It's not. There's an accommodation that needs to be made. And, you know, it's it's it makes me want to put a couple extra bucks aside oh, every man, month now for when I hit there. Buddy, so. <laughs> More than I am right now. I got to start thinking about it. Yeah, you really? OK. All right. Yeah, we'll do this. No, no, I'm, we'll be we'll be aging in place. <laughs> you're I, i'm all i will always be ahead of you in age I'll, I'll be ahead of all of you i'm 49, I'm 49 <laughs> damn it that's but awesome. i'm gonna but i'm gonna know you that all is forever. awesome it seems to I be the so. theme that you guys are all talking about too is you got the problem now or you're gonna have whatever the problem is at some point in your life start thinking ahead if that's the one thing i'm taking away from this it's that it's Absolutely. really pave the road. And Allison, you started with it all, you know, pave the road. Don't live across the street from a hellish park. Mm -hmm. You know, that could be <laughs> just saying. I yeah. would never. My grandmother <laughs> Baby steps, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got here. Are you in Chicago, Al? 
Yeah. Where are you, Matt? Okay. Nice. I'm in Minneapolis. We're 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 Midwesterners no, until Allison leaves in about a month and a half. <laughs> you know you're gonna you're gonna be so gone. Ask Allison how much she loves winter. How's in it crashing in the winter, Allison? <laughs> Try getting paid from your clients in the winter. Try chasing them for money. Mm. Oh, yeah, I imagine, dude. I keep I think it all constantly when I watch the show. I don't know how you renovate anything uh. in Manhattan. It well, seems like an absolute nightmare. Each his own. The grass is always greener. You guys rock at what you do. I'm proud of you, and I love, I love so both you. your shows. And, and uh, Mark, you know, you and Teresa, I told you PBS <laughs> last year, you guys inspire me for what you do and how you make it work and how you get it going. And, um, you know, we have a show, and the show puts us on the uh, platform. And you do it all on your own, my man. And you are than all three of us put together, my friend. Blown you up for that, and I wish <laughs> Teresa was here. I wish <laughs> Teresa was here. Go nuts. She is so, <laughs> so the captain of the ship and the genius behind it all. You know, I walk around and talk a lot, but she is, I will definitely tell her that, and of course she's going to watch this. So thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Oh, my pleasure. Astro is asking, can you break down the percentage of the budget budget for each room? So, Matt, Allison, why don't you guys take the bathrooms in the kitchen? If you wanted to make something handicapped without breaking the bank, how much do you think someone should put a set aside? And what would be your top three most important things? Yes, I'm hosting, Mark. You're welcome. Good. All right, take this. Take this okay, over, Fanuka. So, Al, you want to go first? I, th- this is a big deal, though, because you're you're not looking at a, a little expense on that. So you really do need to think about this if you're gutting a kitchen. Mm-hmm. Um, you need to be thinking about drop down islands, which is a big thing that I'm doing now. So going from your standard height, dropping it down, which could be a great little kind of, you know, um, casual seating area, but it's great for prep down the road, whether it's wheelchair accessible. Um, where to open easy access versus the high cabinetry pull out drawers way better than those cabinets with the doors versus you know kind of climbing back and trying to dig around and find everything um, those are something that you can mm-hmm. easily retrofit in your existing cabinets so most of us have the doors and we don't have the luxury to spend the money and get all the pull out drawers but now you can retrofit that by going to any home improvement store and putting those drawers into your existing cabinets. So that's a small expense. Um, the other stuff is it gets a little more expensive. Obviously, you know, if you've got flooring and a tile, that's you know something where you can actually put down, like in my in my Yaya's kitchen, I just put down um, those little kind of they're they're kind of a stick a sticky mat in front of the working area. You can actually you know my mother has that three about her flipping. Um, you know, just little things like that. But I think when it comes to putting that kind of money in, I mean, your kitchen is, you're spending a lot of money there. So do it right and give it some, some longevity, mm-hmm. not just for, I'm, for, for me and, and, you know, my, my 34 years. <laughs> Thinking ahead. Four years. About it. Most important question. I always, young pup. I, always, I always tell people out. I always tell people to keep a step in the, in the kitchen to keep a step ladder with handrails. Yeah. In their closet when they're old. If they have to go yeah. up on top, you want them to have that kind of step ladder that has a handrail on it so they can hold on to it. For sure. That's a good idea. Um, most important question, Allison. Yaya. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. awesome. <laughs> Where? What is that? It's Greek yeah, yeah. grandma. It's Greek for grandma. That's awesome. That's lovely. Mm-hmm. She has a yaya, and I have a nona. Have a nona. A nona. <laughs> Mine's a nona. I am and so boring. It was oh, it was grandma and grandpa. Hey, congratulations that you've you've got them still around. I've lost my, yeah. all my grandparents oh. before I yeah, left. Mine, mine, are, mine are gone, so. unfortunately, but they were, I still remember them. Right here. Yeah, my guy is the oh, yeah. one left. So. My, yeah. yeah, but we I got I got parents getting there though. So I'm always thinking about that. I mean, that's that's oh, that's gonna dad, be my reality. My dad's seventy nine years old. So I have to like and my dad has got you know, he's he's had uh, quadruple bypass and he's the guy he's 
still working no full time, but he's got two levels to his house. And of course, I have to start thinking that way. But um, guys, I hope you don't kill me. I have no. to go. I'm so sorry I landed. And I'm <laughs> Matt, I really want to hear what you have to say. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, oh, wait. you want me to do it quick? I'll and do it quick for you. All right, for bathroom. You. Uh, go ahead, yeah. do it. Go. All right, here's the thing. Uh, I'll, no, 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 I can't. No, I would say in the bathroom, especially for aging in place, and we do this for the show, make it, when you're going to renovate it, make it big as you can. Take some useless space nearby, knock down a wall. It's going to give you room if you do need to be in a wheelchair later, that you can do a turn around the center of that space. It's going to give you the, the, the thoroughfare, the traffic flow through that space. It's going to make it a lot easier later. I think, um, I think grab bars can be implemented into your space at a young age. I don't think that they have to look like those grab bars you see in every hospital. I think that they can be sleek and they can be well thought out and they can be, you know, taken into account the tile pattern in your shower, all of these things. If you, if you design around it, it yeah. doesn't matter. Like how long before a Matt Minster grab bar comes out on the market? Deco lab grab bars. <laughs> <laughs> what, time, what, what time, what time is it? What time is it? Keep, <laughs> Stay tuned, brother. You'll, you'll, you're, see, you're you'll see in my head Minster now. Twitter, a yeah. couple two by fours, and some blocks just screwed on. <laughs> Done. Moving on. Done. What? Yeah. Uh, that's Before my we get house, on, though. I got something. We all got to do. Ready? Nice Hold stuff. on. Ready? Here, this is for you guys. I went and got this for you. Hold on. <laughs> I feel like we're the Brady Bunch my style. Anyone else? This is before. This might be a little yeah, before Allison's time. Is, Allison, there's a show called The Brady see, Bunch. See, Matt, yeah. I can give you. Can you see this? I can give you a high five. <laughs> down into the thing. Oh yeah, I'm I'm in the lower left. <laughs> I love it. The the meeting's the letting out here as well. The, the Brady Bunch. Meeting is the Brady Bunch. Yes. So, Manuka, <laughs> Manuka, you said it. And you, honestly, I admire you, everything that you do. I love you, Matt. Um, I'm just proud of everybody, all four squares here. Um, you guys, we're just keeping it alive and doing what we love. And, um, you know, and the fact that mm -hmm. we get to talk about subjects like this and influence people, um, that means the world to me. And you guys mm -hmm. are, you're just an inspiration too. And it's very cool because, you know, you said it right. You were just thinking, uh, this is inspiring. So for me now, I'm going to start thinking more about it, even though it's in my life with my Yaya. But you know, thinking just, just moving forward, even helping out community and how how we kind of address things. That's wonderful, Allison. Well said. It's a great day. Thanks for having. Me. Oh, wait a second. Look, wait, wait, wait! Don't you leave do yet, it. Allison. I got to do Love Fest too. Vanuka, I need to meet you in real life because you've always seemed like an awesome human being, and we need to make that happen. And How about Kate and I, yes. Allison, you know I love you. Yeah, well, I'm going to try to get there. It's between two home shows, yeah, and yeah. I'm going to shoot over to Vegas. Right. Um, Allison, you know I love you, and uh, I will see you soon. Okay, cool. You got to go. I'm gonna try we'll to, lock yes. you down, Matt. We'll lock you down. And then, Mark. Hey, more All right. Most Sounds importantly, great, Mark, thanks for having us. Thanks for thinking of us. And more importantly... Thanks for bringing up the attention to ourselves and to everybody who was on here. And we had almost 100 people on here. And, you know, you're not going to hit a million people, but if you hit every person counts and you move it one person at a time, and that's how things get done and how, that's how things get accomplished and that's how topics get said. So having said that, thanks for having me. Perfect. And next time. Yeah, right on, I got to roll too, guys. Allison, Matt, Fanuka, thank you. Bye. Thank thank you Watch their shows, HGTV and DIY Network, and check out Teresa's Design Alls, www.designallz.com for help with designing for dementia and moving on for the important stages of life. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook. Follow them on Facebook and Twitter. Watch our videos. Watch their shows. Hey, we got to go. You guys, to a person, absolutely rock. Thank you. And we are out.